And now it is my absolute thrill and honor to salute legendary producer, musician, songwriter, and all around badass Linda Perry with the aptly named 2020 She Rocks Powerhouse Award. Let's watch. Linda Perry epitomizes what it means to be a successful, uncompromising, and independent artist. Wearing many hats, she is a songwriting legend, passionate philanthropist, dedicated animal rights advocate, generous friend, and an incredible mother. With a storied career, Perry began her musical journey as the lead singer of Four Non Blondes and has continued to have a profound impact on pop culture with her message of female empowerment. She has composed and produced hit songs for artists such as Pink, Christina Aguilera, Alicia Keys, Britney Spears, and Adele, and was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2015. Most recently, Perry was nominated for a 2020 Grammy Award with Dolly Parton for Girl in the Movies, a song they wrote together for the Netflix film Dublin. Last year, she was nominated for the 2019 Grammy Award for Producer of the Year, making her the first woman in 15 years to be nominated in the category. That same year, she was nominated for a Golden Globe Award and Critics' Choice Award for her work on Girl in the Movies. In addition, she is the co-founder of We Are Here, a combination record label, publishing house, management company, and production entity that she launched with fellow multi-platinum producer Kerry Brown in 2017. Today, Linda Perry fosters the creativity of others actively seeking and nurturing new talents to share with the world. Give it up for Linda Perry. You know what I got out of all that is that I'm a weird looking person. I was like, she's so funny looking. Um, Lindsay, thank you and everybody at She Rocks. First of all, I'm really paying attention to how on time you guys are, so I'm really appreciating that. Um, you know, I've always introduced myself as Linda Perry when I was a kid. And I always felt like I was going to create or cause damage. Um, I guess the same thing, but I've never identified as a female, male, anything. I just have always been Linda Perry. And when I was a kid, I would go up to people and I introduce myself and go, hi, I'm Linda Perry. And everybody would laugh at me because like, I would, why is this girl introducing her full name? But I've only had this feeling, my, my career has been a series of gut feelings, and I just act on it all the time. And I've made tons of mistakes, and I've made incredible, incredible, I've, I have built wonderful things, and beauty, and, and I've enjoyed every moment of it. And, and sometimes people ask me, like, what do you do when you get creator's block? And I simply tell, them and to anybody here is that I don't get I don't get songwriter's block because I'm not thinking about writing music. I'm feeling it all the time. It's in me constantly from the day I was brought onto this planet. I've always felt my way through everything. So writer's block is a thinker's problem. So stop thinking about music and just do it. Um, as far as, you know, succeeding and you know we have to identify what success is and most of the time everybody's like well do you feel successful i personally i don't i feel like i'm just starting so i'm not sure exactly what success is all i know is i'm constantly trying to be better than what i was yesterday and i find that i walk around trying to be of service constantly and I feel like that is what takes me into this whole other realm because I'm not, 
operating in this business for myself. I'm operating on how can, what can I do today that's going to help other people. So a powerhouse, I, I'll take that. I think I am. I've earned that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. So all I say to everybody here or anybody who cares is like we have to stop focusing on what that person's doing and what that person's doing. And we just got to focus on what we're doing because that's what makes true change. If we're constantly looking at everybody and their careers, then all we're doing is following. Leaders, it's a lot of work to be a leader, but you have to stick through it because what you get in return is far more, far more, um, what's the fucking word? Thank you, gratifying. So I am grateful for this, thank you very much. I forgot something. I'm a, so one of my awesome things is I have this company with my um, partner, Carrie Brown, and we are label publishing management. And I stumbled, not stumbled, but kind of found this, well, 12 years old at the time, big bottle glasses, you know, like a train track in her mouth, and she just like went on a mile a minute, and I was like, oh my God, I love this kid. So this is, you know, I want to bring out Willa Amai. Come here, Willa. She's 15 now, and I've just been having the, the most, look, look at her, she's like 15, and I'm in, <laughs> I'm in fucking platforms in a five foot hat, you know, and she's <laughs> taller than me. But it's been so fun, like just nurturing her career and just watching it blossom organically. She's performed with Dolly Parton. She, Do Brandy Carlisle called me one day and said, hey, I swear to fucking God. Hey, do you think uh, you and Willa want to come up to uh, San Francisco and maybe Willa get on stage with me? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, and I put her in the car and we drove up there. So I want you guys to get a little taste of Willa because this is my future. I'm trying to really embrace um, the talents of today. And so Willa, will you go please play us a song? 